I can't cover for you this time, Frank. Your duties stop far short of determining United States foreign policy. And don't give me that look. You know it's not as simple as the newspapers make it seem. I just couldn't stand there watching these people die. Frank, you're an Air Force major. Those decisions are in the realm of politics. You're in big trouble. Of course, there uh, is a small possibility for some leniency. Eh? Yeah. It seems you've caught the attention of the president's campaign manager. Excuse me? They suggested a new assignment. Carrying his hands on control of the nuclear arsenal. What? You mean... You mean that guy who follows him around with the black bag? It's the only way the president can order a nuclear counterattack. <laughs> you mean the guy has to go with him wherever the hell he goes? The military aide has the duty and the honor to travel with the president. <sighs> well, it would make you unavailable for a court martial, but. Uh... And these men and women had their lives taken away to provide us with our every privilege. This is the day that we seek to remember them, to remember those who died to maintain our every freedom, who selfishly fought so that others from other lands may enjoy the same basic rights as you and I. This has to be bigger than just a day. I ask you to remember them today. And... Space Command, opening the case. Let us remember these brave warriors on Veterans Day. And for all the tomorrows, that they have given to us as well. As I promised, some questions. Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. President, you uh, suffer a great deal of criticism on your military restructuring plan, uh, centered mostly on the number of jobs in the stock. Checking daily launch codes. The money saved in personnel will go towards developing those weapons that were so successful in Desert Storm. I think a comparison of the casualties on both sides illustrates my point. New codes operational. I confirm codes are authentic. Ethel. Do you think you're getting away with far more with your plan than you normally would because of your military record in Desert Storm? Absolutely. <laughs> Closing the case. Sir, aren't you concerned that a matter of this report might be better argued after the company of the Well, now that you mentioned it. Checking self-destruct. I compliment that... Uh, Everyone here knows that uh, I'm not that much of a politician. <laughs> I do believe that restructuring is very important for America at this junction in our history. We do have the technology to save lives. Now, if that calls me an election, then I'll just have to take consolation in knowing that I was the president who preferred sacrificing jobs, even my own if necessary, to sacrificing so many lives. Thank you. First stage jitters. Any last minute questions? If I drop this, is Moscow going to catch a nuke? Sir? Major!
It isn't self-defense anymore, Major. It's self-destruct. Now I'm jittery. Cross. They didn't mention that one in the manual. Let's go across. Mr. President, may I present Major Frank Cross? Well, I reckon I saved your ass, Major. It's an honor to uh, be out of jail, sir. It's good for the campaign. Someone forgot about national security. She's dangerous. Right on time. Anything that could hurt me. I'll take your place. We're not supposed to leave a side. Little change in protocol tonight, Frank. Nice tie. My mother gave it to me. It's okay. They checked them downstairs. Through there. Spoiled guy. Yeah. Decaf. That's not decaf. Sure it is. Taste it. I don't drink coffee. 
This stuff's not gonna keep me awake. Better get me something with a little punch. when you met him who <laughs> the president uh, you know i can't talk about that jane security breach he said don't scratch my luggage come on frank just try and make the best of it hmm? let me talk to billy i didn't get a chance to say goodbye this morning i called him he must be sleeping come on jane where is he he's not here what do you mean he's not there? I just think he's a little upset that with the travel and stuff, he'll see you less here in Washington than he did on the base, you know? And when I tried to talk to him, he just gave me the usual I'm not his mother stuff. No matter what I say, he does whatever the hell he wants. Yeah, and I wonder wherever the hell he got that from. Look, I'm pretty sure he's over at Danny's house. You just call me the minute you find him, will you? Who loves you, baby? <laughs> you do. Hey, Maxwell. Can you put out an APB on my coffee? National emergency major. Maxwell, I got a missing agent in corridor 10. What's wrong now, Cross? You need company? I'm just making sure you're not taking a break without me. Oh, you wouldn't want to be with me on this break. We had to take Clark with you? Oh, somebody's got to do the paperwork. Screw you, Maxwell. Room service. You wanted a little more punch? <laughs> yourself up. I'll take care of this. Wait! If we start shooting here, we'll have way too many bodies to hide. Trust me, let him come to us. The black bag man is still on the move. Make sure he follows us. Did you change the codes? We're, We're working, working on it. A lot of problems up here. Whatever happens, don't lose them. Let him follow. Let's trust him. Hey! Hey! No! 
national security. What's going on? Hey, we're taking him somewhere we can work, okay? I got him. How are you following? I grabbed a cab. Somebody bring in my gun?
Do you think anybody will recognize him? Not this time. You guys got a lot to do? Are you hearing this? Just tell me that you changed the codes. Where are you? But where the hell are you? Cross, goddammit. Our first priority here is the president. Of three or four buildings northeast of the parking ramp, on the roof. They're in the chopper, headed north. We're gonna come pick you up on the roof. Don't move! For some reason, no matter how many times Cross called, nobody changed the codes. You wanted me to call? I guess I must have, if you're calling, son. Well, no big emergency. But I guess now, whenever I feel like going for a walk, she's gonna call the cops. She's nuts. Is that any way to talk about your mom? My mother's in New York. Yeah, right. Is that any way to talk about your, uh... My... Chick? Yeah, is that anyone you talk about her? Oh, I guess not. Look, I gotta get back to things here. You should probably run upstairs and do your homework. It's downstairs now that your chick moved in. Yeah, right. That's okay. They haven't spent a lot of time here. Probably don't remember. If you made the most of our time together instead of wasting it on complaining, it'd feel a lot more like enough. Now put my chick on, bucko.
You still mad at me? That all depends. On what? On what you're wearing. Frank? I'm all by myself up here. Have you ever told me the nastiest thing you've ever done? Frank? God. Come on. Most of you have already been reassigned. Another facility, another duty. Time for change. Will it change to the time for reflection? When we built these weapons of mass destruction, a lot of people had great reservations. They said if we build them, we'd have to use them. But it's been over 50 years since we've had to resort to that. These missiles have lived up to their name. Rather than use them, we've kept the peace with them. We've tapped into the very power that holds the universe together, and we've used it as a strong encouragement for the rest of the world to do the right thing. There's been no World War III for one reason. Us. Just like the silo tour. Not exactly. There are no souvenir mugs or t-shirts in this one. There will be.
this case before we get inside that room. Space Command will be alert and shut us down. Be patient. Time lock will open in 14 minutes. Maybe not. You've already forgotten what you're doing here? I can't say I haven't been a little confused. Up until now. <gasps> Yeah. Hey, Lopez, it's Decker. I snagged you guys the last bottle of champagne. You want it? What the hell? It's our last day. Just 13 minutes. Jesus. Holbrook, what is the status of ventilation? We're clean. Communication room under control. Check the safety areas. Everybody's asleep for the night. We're in control. Robinson, how's the party going? Clearing personnel in silo three. I think we should renegotiate our cut. Kong. Kong, you have the generator room? Kong. Kong, you have control of the generator? Kong. Negative six. Get to the fuel room, find out what happened. Kong is down. communications out of here hey I had to use the phone Nagari report to control room on the double Major Frank Cross. Yes. One moment, please. Wait. Do I have to remind everybody what happens if they get the word out? They will change all the launch codes. Haddinger. I'm there. Open the fucking door.
Cross? Cross? Yeah. Who's this? Uh, who the hell is this? Shit! shouldn't have trusted you. You want to cover me, Captain? Go. That's Lieutenant Colonel. How'd you get in here? Shit! How did we get out? That way.
you looking for me? Launch code changes confirmed, sir. The launch procedures are already engaged in silo 45301. We can't stop them now, sir. Romeo, Alpha, two, four, one, Quebec. Tango, Foxtrot, seven. Launch order confirmed. Codes are authenticated and still valid. Insert launch key. Launch key inserted. On my mark, rotate launch key to set. Three, two, one, set. Set. What'd you say? Launch! Missile one enabled. Ignition. Ignition. This better be good. It's not. coordinates, send it into space. It's on inertial guidance once it leaves. The only other override is in the silo. How did this happen? It's time I'm self-destructing. No, we are not. What? What are you talking about? Sir, we've, we've proven we have control here. And now you'd like to prove you're afraid to blow up a rock. Rock? There's more than that. I... Look, this isn't the plan, sir. Aren't we 
supposed to be able to send a self-destruct signal to the warhead before it detonates? Haven't you already exhausted that option, Mr. President? Then how can we get it done? With the black bag. Where did that thing go? They don't tell us that. But I'm thinking they could have changed the coordinates using that black bag. Well, thanks for reminding me. Don't be too hard on yourself. Man couldn't sit on these missiles for any length of time without using them. Man? Well, these are terrorists. What difference does it make? I think it's much more than that. The silo's been here for 25 years, and on the day they're gonna take it apart, these men break in the place? No. The Almighty sent them a sign. I've arranged transportation to Air Force One, sir. It's the closest area with nuclear shielding and the necessary satellite communications. You just received the facts, sir. Eight markers right from the monument. Twenty-two dead men in. You'll need more than a shovel here to gaze on the bones of your sin. It's a cemetery. I think the Almighty's doing too good a job. Exhaust hatch, bottom of silo. It's the only way out. Come on. We're live here in Chicago, and we repeat, a large explosion has just been reported in a remote area of South Dakota. Now, there's speculation that this explosion may be tied to a shooting that's taken place at the Chicago Plaza Court Hotel. Uh, the president was in the hotel at the time the shooting took place. Are there any casualties? No, we're having difficulty getting information. As a matter of fact, we don't have a report, a confirmed report on casualties at this time. <laughs> To what? Oh, come on. Uh, uh. There's a place, but it's not on anybody's blueprints. We can find out where the missile went. It's totally secure. I thought this whole place was supposed to be secure. I thought you were supposed to kill yourself if you dropped that black bag. Uh, I'm new. Uh, uh, uh. We can't go that way. That takes the exhaust from the missiles to the cooling system. We gotta go here. <sighs> Approximately 100 square miles, completely saturated with radiation. As you ordered, sir, the Army and National Guard are evacuating the area, Rapid City included. Casualties at this point are limited to those within the Mount Rushmore Park area. First estimate, around 3,000 people. Get me that silo. 
Bob, get me that silo now. Hello. Who is this? I don't know, Bob. When you die, do you think you keep your own name? I don't know what you're trying to do. Did you get the map I faxed? Yes, we got it. <laughs> well, you never know with these hotels. You've got 20 minutes to line up your uniform and get there. How come you didn't ask for the plane? Or the money? Do you have any idea what we're asking for? First aid here? No, it's a sea rations. Man, it comes over 25 years old. You're not gonna eat that mess, are you? Watch this. Everything that's happened in this facility in the last 24 hours is right here on tape. Piece of shit. I knew they couldn't get in here without somebody on the inside. Where's that? That's launch control. Shit. How come you didn't ask for the plane? Or the money? Do you have any idea what we're asking for? Do you think you can just ask for an E4B? The plane that serves as this country's National Emergency Airborne Command Post? And $500 million? And expect them to just drop it off? If I work them into where I want them, there will be no negotiation. Fucking Decker. One of those guys whose only experience with a mushroom cloud is a music video. Well, what's your experience? <sighs> a couple of years ago, somebody put in a training tape by mistake. I was almost responsible for starting World War III. Mm. So... I started reading shit I wasn't supposed to read. Well, how'd you manage to stay here? I know all the answers to the monthly psychological exam, but those bullshit keep up the morale speeches, that was the hardest. <clears throat> shit, I can't make out the missile coordinates. That button right there, it's a central data recorder. Well, where did that thing detonate? That's South Dakota. Where are the other two targeted? Washington. Shit. We gotta get into that launch room. Yeah, we just got a four-ton door to get through. Then we gotta get to the missiles. There's only one way. If they launch again, it's gonna get hot. Those ships are supposed to protect you in a missile launch blast, but I never tested them myself. But there's something else we can do. I'm gonna cut the power in this place. Backup's only good for about an hour. If we can hold them off about that long, they won't have enough power left to launch a missile. Now we'll communicate on a different frequency. You'll stay here and watch, and let me know when I can make a move on those things. Okay. T minus 60 minutes. What's happening? Could somebody out there remind me why I need them? Won't the changes in codes prevent them from launching again? Once they tap into the system with the black bag, they have priority over any code change. 
Have we eliminated the ground attack? Yes, when we built the silo, but with the surveillance equipment they've got in there, they'll have one off the ground before we're even close to getting into that launch room. What's the arrival time on the bombers? The F-117s are in position and close enough to drop smart bombs in those hatches within 50 seconds of opening. What are the chances of failure? The accuracy of our laser-guided bomb is 65% within 50 feet of designated targets. If we're dropping five to ten missiles, those odds increase dramatically. I'm going there. We're talking H-bombs. If it's not 100%, I'm running out of time. Any idea how I get out to it? before you're inside again. Well, it wouldn't take that long to shoot it full of holes. Yeah, that'd be a good idea if you didn't have number three to deal with. Look, once you're inside, pull back the insulation and you're looking for the gold wire. Now. Lieutenant Colonel Murphy. but I'm not quite sure anymore. Did my friends from the network get there? Uh, 
not going to talk to you with any press around. Of course you are. Think of the ratings. Besides, we can't get to what we want without them. Just exactly what is that? The truth. My fingers on the trigger here, Bob. Who is he? We sent him into Iraq to take out Hussein. Uh. Everybody has the same gun we've been waving around for the last 50 years. There's no more war. Once you understand what happens to the planet, if just a small percentage of these things detonated, you realize it's either peace or annihilation. We've already figured out what's going to end the human race. It's just a matter of when. <clears throat> I'm surprised you're still running this place. I don't really have anywhere else to go. Six years ago, as your chief of staff, before Operation Desert Storm, I assigned Lieutenant Colonel Douglas Murphy to a covert mission. When his team was in place, we, uh, we re-evaluated and decided, regretfully, that this mission was not appropriate for our country at this time. We were forced to abort using friendly fire. Bullshit. You were forced? There were ways to get us out of there. Trying to get you out would have cost more lives, and you know that. You chose to take us out to avoid another Iran. You used one of those weapons which were supposed to save lives rather than sacrifice lives to kill your own men! You committed your life to this country, no matter who made the bullets. Have you made that same commitment? Frank! You're not gonna believe this shit, man. They're not gonna believe it either. I'm gonna put it on their channel. You go there. As general of the armed forces, you say you had it. As president of the United States, do you still have the same commitment? Of course I do. Hey, where's the guy who got me into this shit? Well, I'm having a hard time believing that. But that's why you're the must be some way you could prove to me you're as willing to die as easily as you kill in the best interest of the country or should I say in the best interest of Washington regardless of whose bullet it is you have 30 minutes to say goodbye to America or a big piece of America says goodbye going on you know the president well I'm sorry sir but I can't go any further with this where do you plan on going you can't turn both keys colonel maybe I should get somebody else in here who still wants a cut you'll get what you came for but as to how that's accomplished, you're not making those decisions. Hey, I don't see any gold wires in here. Well, maybe there aren't any. Look, I'm not a technician. I, uh, it's just what I heard. Well, did the same guy tell you this was the way to disable it? No, I figured it out myself. Whatever you're gonna do, you got 12 seconds to do it in. Why is the 
president standing in the middle of a cemetery? Because I told him to. And why haven't you heard anything about this plane? They're supposed to keep our finger on the button. And what about our money? Hello? Cyclops! <laughs> No, wait! He'll be looking right at you. When I finish with Baker, we'll still have the missiles. And in 30 minutes, we'll have the E-4B. And your money. We are screwed here! Whether or not we're screwed, we won't have a missile to worry about until we stop these guys who are trying to fuck us up. I say your money. Because you'll also be splitting my share. I didn't come here for the money. But you're going to have to bear with me for that half hour. He's in silo two, screwing up the missile. Check it. Now move. Activity down there, over. Copy, bird's eye. Stay focused. Hey! Oh, I've been waiting for this. Initiate launch on both missiles. need from the president but i can't do that without a missile i'm not gonna blow up washington we still have this self-destruct if you won't take my word for it you're gonna die Ignition. Enable missiles two and three, all but the portals.
F-117 is closing. If one of those portals opens, you'll have less than a second to react. Affirmative, sir. Open portal two. The missile's dead. They don't know that. Did you hit both portals? Hit number two, sir, but number three is still closed. Drop it all. I have no visual. It's too hot down there. It's a diversion. Drop it all right now. Open three and launch. seconds to make your decision the target is washington dc you can't do this doug you don't know what you're doing thermonuclear detonation the fireball that's hotter than the core of the sun the radiation burst it'll vaporize the lucky ones the diseases that follow the loss of immunities will make it harder to die the deformed babies from those who seem least affected will make it harder to live. Fifteen million people, Bob. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. great soldier and to be that soldier I know that that part of you that could kill indiscriminately was, was necessary but there's more to you than that for you to be this affected to be this angry that part of you the better part of you that wants more Doug because you always wanted more I mean I understand why you feel left down. We must have been just about everything you ever had. And you offered us everything. I gave you my life. Yes, you did. And that's the good part of you. That can't kill 15 million innocent people, Doug. You must destroy that missile. I don't bleed anymore. What? 
Running in the desert, I watched as your missiles swallowed up my shadow. And my heart just stopped. I bleed. pushes the air around and from the center at great speed. We know that the bomb is most destructive when exploded Billy, come on, we have to get downstairs! ...above the ground. In order for a person to survive within this area, he must be protected by a shelter which can withstand the shock wave, the heat flash, and the gas Billy, rays. Of those who cannot reach the shelter, many will survive by crouching flat against cement pillars in the basement of heavy concrete buildings. Five minutes and 40 seconds to detonation. to die for my country. I hereby resign the presidency. I'm not going to give him that. I'll give him the proof he needs that what I did, regardless of how he refuses to see it, was well-intentioned. God forgive me. Oh. What does this mean? I lied. I gave you my truth, you son of a bitch. If you detonate, I promise you the slowest, most painful death. ...than a man has ever suffered. You've already done that. But it's nothing compared to the pain you're about to experience. Missile and re-entry, sir. <laughs> Frank! Frank, if you're out there, man... If 
you had the man, the president's out of the picture. They're dropping the bomb on Washington, D.C. Look, we can't do this. I can't fucking do this! Launch man doors open. They got me on a move. We both know you're going to have to try. What can you do from here? I don't know. Let me see. Wait. Uh, I might be able to fry the guidance circuits. If it doesn't hit pre-programmed coordinates, it won't go off, but... Okay. And I'm gonna beat me, you son of a bitch.
We got the link back. Shit, the auxiliary power's going out. Did I get it? Hello. Who are you calling? You're waiting, bucko. Thank God you're all right. I can't wait to see you. Me too. If you promise to hurry back, I'll run out and buy that little thing you wanted. <laughs> Bye. All the shit you've been through, you're gonna eat that? Let's get out of here. It's gonna kill you, you know that? Whatever. pretty early in there, so I had to hold up while he did the fighting. Frank, you... Lieutenant Colonel Northrop here. Knows a lot better than me what happened in there. Lieutenant Colonel! Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Time to tell them what you really think. Or just give them another of your bullshit speeches. Sorry, excuse me. Stand back, please. Stand back, please. Excuse me. Over here, please. Lieutenant Colonel. Lieutenant Colonel. There are different reports as to exactly who was responsible for what happened in there. Einstein. Back, back, back. Right. Right. Oh, Frank, where are you going? Home. Toss the case in. We'll give you a lift. No, thanks. Frank, you can't just walk home with the case. What are you doing? I'll just keep this until you guys get the politics of these weapons figured out. Frank, this is nice of you. But you can't do this by yourself, I mean. Then we'll be working in shifts. <laughs> Major! Lieutenant Colonel! The president wants to talk to you. No, it's all right. You know, wait a minute. Aren't you that rice dropping guy? Are you kidding me? Uh, no, man. I mean, I heard one of those reporters back there say something, and I knew it was you. Damn, you're pretty famous. Did you know that? He's not as good as he looks. Yeah, right. You'll see. <laughs> 